my boss gave me a Canon 60D camera. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. And today I have exciting news. As you have seen the intro, my boss gave me, literally, a camera. But, and here's the catch. The camera is broken. I'm sure it's it can be repaired, but it is just not worth the money. And probably the repair cost costs more than what it worth on second hand right now. So he was like, I got this broken camera, I got this broken lens, still wanted to take take it back home and then tear it, tear it apart. I'm like, sure, why not? I mean, this is the first time I get to tear apart a camera. So I got my iFix, iFixit toolkit. Oh shit, the magnetic at the bottom too. That's cool. And just, I uh, just bought it specifically for this video. All right, so, I don't even know where to start. Uh, let me start by taking the peel off. So this is how it looks like when you peel it off. Nice. First time seeing that. And then this side as well. Shit. And then... Okay. I guess let me take the LCD screen off. Have you guys ever seen what's inside of an LCD screen? Like how does it work to get it rotate? I don't know, we'll find out. To make this a bit more useful for you guys, let me talk about, uh, let me talk a bit of DSLR and a bit of my history with this, a bit of history of my relationship with a Canon 60D. So back when I was in high school, I used to borrow cameras from the marketing department to shoot our sports events like soccer uh, and student council stuff and usually when the other camera is occupied I will they will lend me the Canon 6D and god I said I don't like this camera at all I mean yes it's a good camera it served me well it helped me get all the footage but it's, it, it just looks soft I've used I think it was a Canon 70D or and as well as the Canon 750D and that and those look sharp. I mean, as much better than the 60D. And then yet you have this art articulated screen, but it's not a touch screen, which is quite and which is quite annoying. It is a very nice camera. I like the grip better, a lot better than Sony even to today. I still prefer Canon's grip. I mean, let me walk you through what's the difference between a DSLR and a mirrorless camera so and if you have a DSLR don't do this this is not recommended and this is only good because this is a broken camera so the difference between DSLR and the mirrorless is simply the difference between you have the reflector here so basically I'm not sure if you can see it but yeah th that's the only difference so with DSLR you have this reflector mirror here it goes up and down and if it's a mirrorless, you take away this mirror and you're just left with the sensor inside. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it at here. Well, this is it. This is my teardown of my Canon 60D. Oh, right, I still have a lens. Ah, I'll make that a second video. Thank you for watching. I hope you get some kind of value from this video, and I'll see you in the next one.